In this tutorial we're going to look at saving views and capturing images from views. So we've been working in the perspective view and the front top and right view but you can actually create views that you can come back to that have different uh, parameters set in them. For example focal length of a lens. So let's go ahead and um, hit the drop down here. You can go to set view and then name views. You can also access this from the view menu, the view drop down. And then here you can save your current view. So we'll just call this A okay and then if you want you can um, select and delete these and create new views and always come back to this menu so let's go ahead and close that you can see my view has now changed to A so if I start to pan around for example I can change that view but I can always come back to my A view and it will realign with that original view um, you can create additional views from here and change different parameters of the view so if I come over here to properties um, you can see that right now this is a perspective view that's saved as view A. I can change the lens length. So typically architectural photographers use what are called wide angle lenses. A standard point and shoot camera is 35 millimeters, so anything less than that is wide angle. I'd like to use around a 20 or 22 millimeter length, so let's go ahead and type in 20. And you can see it becomes a little more dynamic, uh, the image and the view, a little more perspective in the view. Oops, let's go ahead and change that again. 20, enter. And then if you want to create a new view using this new um, perspective and this new lens length, you can just go back to set view and go back to name views and we can save this new view. Let's call this one B. You can say B shows up. So once you're happy with your view, you can change the display type and we're going to get into rendering later but for now let's just use Arctic for example. Um, if you want you can try some of these other ones and if you want to save the view you can then go to view and then under capture you can capture it to a file and what's really nice is you can actually um, change the size and resolution of that image. You can render a pretty high resolution image um, that will print at the high quality um, directly from the viewport. So for example 3200 by 2400 would be a, a very nice size image. And then you can also um, say OK and then locate where you want to save that image. So it will actually render out and save that image which then you can bring into a program like Illustrator or even back into Rhino and draw over.